Hi, I'm Jeremy Badner, an instructional technology coach at Gull Lake Community Schools. I'm also a Google for Education certified trainer and innovator and hoping to be accepted into the Google Certified Coach Program. I primarily work with young fives through fifth grade students and staff, but also support secondary teachers when needed. Uh, this year we were remote for the first five weeks, then we went to hybrid for three weeks, and then we're just now back to face-to-face -to -face teaching. So during that time I met with teachers remotely and in person when available. Um, this video is going to kind of show you how I use the five-step coaching method to help a particular kindergarten teacher deliver content to her kids. Using the first step of the five-step coaching model, identify and understand the challenge, we chatted remotely about what she knew would be her difficulties for the year. This is when an awesome tool like Jamboard really works perfectly. I shared a Jamboard with her and had her add sticky notes for all of the challenges and struggles and areas that she knew that she would need help with. Some of these were remote, hybrid teaching, student engagement, just trying to keep those five-year-olds entertained. Um, how students would find activities, and basically just organizing everything for a school year. I then had her look at all of the sticky notes she made and just prioritize. She picked the top 10, the most important issues that she really, really wanted a solution for. Um, we kind of chatted about those, and I had her really focus on what is one of those sticky notes, of those top 10, what's the one that would cover the most and give her most bang for her butt, the investment of her time. And she chose creating just one landing spot to organize everything. So after deciding on the one area to focus on, we got to the second step of the five-step coaching model, investigate possible strategies. So we thought about what could we do to organize all of her resources to best meet the needs of her five-year-olds, her students, and parents. So we talked about a few ways to do this. I mean, she already uses Seesaw. That was one platform. But she was looking for something a little bit more Googly because we are a Google district. Um, she thought about creating a website. But the problem with that is it's just more updating and you've got to publish things. And, and for her, that just seemed a little too complex. She also was a little bit worried about anybody in the world being able to get in. Uh, she uses Remind for her parents, but that was that's a great tool for parents, but not students. We also um, have access to Canvas, but that was just too cumbersome for her to use. And same kind of thing with Schoology. She didn't really like Schoology. So I suggested, of course, Google Classroom, where everything would work. So we kind of settled on that would be the tool that best met her needs and her students' needs. Now that we chose one tool to use, we can move on to the third step in the five-step model. Select personalized strategies and tools. So now that we're using Google Classrooms, we found out it'll work really well because she already uses Seesaw. She can put the links directly in. Um, she can make copies of her interactive activities or any tools that she wants. She can list websites. The Google Meet link is right there in the header. So really it works with everything. Seesaw, GoGuardian, every tool that she's already using. So then we just had to look at ways that maybe we can improve her Google Classroom for the ease of use for her kids. When we got to the fourth step, implement a strategy and make improvements, this is when we really got to have some fun. Um, our kids were back in school at this point, so I got to come in and kind of help with some of this. So this is where our teacher, she put in all the emoticons and the topics and the third party extensions for audio with talk and comment extensions or moat. Um, being able to let those kindergartners hear directions instead of have to read them. We also created some interactive activities, some slide decks that her kids would get their own copy, and then they can manipulate those pieces around for assessments and tools. This is when I got to come in and work with her kids and actually help them use some of these. So I joined her in the class, demoed some of this. We worked together, showed the kids how to do the click and drag activities. Um, I showed her how to use Screencastify to record herself. This is the bulk of what we worked on. The fifth and final step is reflect on experience and outcomes. And what we've been doing to improve things is keeping her classroom fresh, new icons, making sure it's really interactive for kids. Uh, we've shared out all of her um, slide decks that she's made for interactive activities with other kindergarten teachers. And now we're starting to run and have her help run kindergarten level, grade level, meetings to kind of share how classroom works, how slides for interactivity works, um, so sharing what she's already done.